10 NCLEX question and answers for the stages of grief. Hello, my name is Bridget. I'm a nurse practitioner. If you would like uh, the lecture on the stages of grief, make sure to check out my previous video on that topic, and then you can come back and uh, review this Q&A to see if you understood the material. You can purchase this PowerPoint on Etsy, or, or you can support me on Patreon and have access to uh, other PDFs that I have uploaded there. A nurse is caring for a client who recently lost a spouse and is expressing feelings of disbelief. Which nursing intervention is most appropriate during the denial stage of grief? So they're in denial. They don't want to face things yet. Encourage the client to join a support group, provide information about funeral arrangements, offer a quiet space for the client to reflect, discuss the importance of making decisions promptly. And the correct answer is C, offer a quiet space for the client to reflect. During the denial stage, individuals may need time and space to process their feelings and come to terms with reality of the loss. Offering a quiet space allows the client to reflect without feeling rushed or, or overwhelmed. NCLEX question number two. A client who recently lost a child is expressing anger and frustration. What is the nurse's priority intervention during the anger stage of grief? So anger is the key word here. Encourage the client to participate in a memorial service, provide information about grief counseling services, recommend medication to manage emotional distress, allow the client to express feelings without judgment. And the answer is D, allow the client to express feelings without judgment. During the anger stage, it is crucial to provide a safe and non-judgmental space for the client to express their emotions. Encouraging expression can help the client process anger in a healthy way. A nurse is caring for a client experiencing feelings of guilt and regret after the loss of a loved one. Which statement by the nurse is the most therapeutic? It's important to focus on the positive memories you shared. Everyone experiences loss differently. Give yourself time. You should try to move on and not dwell in the past. If you see this on a, a therapeutic communication test, it's not going to be the right answer. Like you should usually, right? I don't want to say hundred percent of the time, but most of the time you sh like shoulding statements are non-therapeutic. Guilt is a normal part of grieving. So don't be too hard on yourself. And the most therapeutic response is everyone experiences loss differently. Give yourself time. Acknowledging the uniqueness of the grieving process and providing reassurance that it's okay to take time to heal can be comforting and supportive. Remember, more than one answer may sound correct, but you have to pick the most correct one. A client who recently lost a sibling is expressing a desire to reverse the events and bring the sibling back to life. Which stage of grief is the client experiencing? Bargaining, denial, anger, or acceptance? So... They're not definitely not acceptance and they recently lost a sibling. So uh, I wouldn't say that they're in denial. They're not saying, no, I didn't lose a sibling. So out of all of these answers, which one do you think is the best one? And it's bargaining during the bargaining stage. Individuals may attempt to negotiate or make deals to reverse the loss. Expressing a desire to bring the person back is characteristic of this stage. Question five. A nurse is providing care for a client in the acceptance stage of grief. What is a common characteristic of this stage? Expression of anger, acknowledgement and peace, numbness and withdrawal, guilt and regret. So for a client in the acceptance, I don't know why my browser is so slow today. It's usually not this slow. But um, so they're in the acceptance. Acknowledgement and peace is going to be the best answer. In the acceptance stage, individuals come to terms with the reality of the loss. They acknowledge the situation and often experience a sense of peace or resolution. A client who lost a spouse expresses a lack of interest in activities, difficulty sleeping, and feelings of hopelessness. Hopelessness and helplessness are key words often to indicate depression. Which stage of grief is this client likely experiencing? So depression is going to be your correct answer here. Symptoms of depression, such as withdrawal, sleep disturbances, and feelings of hopelessness are common during the stage of, uh, during the depression stage of grief. A client who recently experienced a significant loss is seen questioning, why did this happen to me? Which stage of grief is the client likely going through? And the correct answer is anger. 
Questioning why the loss occurred and expressing anger towards the situation are characteristic of the anger stage of grief. Question number eight. The family of a deceased patient is expressing anger towards the healthcare team, blaming them for the loss. Which nursing intervention is most appropriate during the anger stage of grief? Now, I did want to say, for example, it is important to set boundaries with patients if they are abusing you verbally or even physically to speak up for yourself. So that's not what this question is endorsing, like let them walk over you. Um, just uh, as a little, just my two cents in regards to what the answer is. But keep in that mind that when someone is angry, the last thing, ha have you ever been really angry and someone tells you to calm down? Do you calm down? No, it makes you more mad when they tell you to calm down. Like, don't tell me what to do. So in this situation, you can allow the family to express their feelings without interrupting them. Um, allowing the family to express their anger without inter interruption provides an opportunity for them to communicate their emotions and may contribute to the healing process. But like I said, if they're becoming uh, verbally abusive, um, it's a, you can say, I understand that you're very angry at this time, but uh, that language is not appropriate. And oftentimes, if you label the emotion that they're feeling, they will calm down. A nurse is conducting a grief support group. What is a suitable topic for discussion during the acceptance stage of grief? So acceptance is the key word here. And if they've already accepted the loss, then obviously we're not going to talk to them about strategies for coping with anger, expressing feelings of guilt and regret, negotiating and making deals, reverse the loss. So the best memory, I mean, <laughs> the best answer is sharing memories of the deceased. During the acceptance stage, individuals are more likely to reflect on positive memories and find comfort in sharing stories about the person they lost. And the last question, a nurse is providing care for a client who is avoiding discussions about the loss, preferring to focus on other topics. Which stage of grief is the client likely experiencing? So avoiding discussions, that's your key word there. If you said denial, you are correct. Avoiding discussions about the loss and focusing on unrelated topics are indicative of the denial stage. Once again, if you would like to purchase this, you can purchase it on Etsy. Nursing with Prof B is my storefront name, or you become, or you can become a patron on Patreon. Say that five times. Uh, and you will have access to not just this PowerPoint, but other PowerPoints that I have uploaded. Thank you so much. It helps me out tremendously. And just know that you are seen, you are known, and you are loved.